Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a 3D model. It's pretty easy to do. You can use it in your music videos, your edits, or whatever project that you want. First, what you'll have to do is go to this website, download the software called MetaHuman. Just click on download, it's like any other software. Now, what you're going to have to do is simply open the software. Once you're in it, you'll be greeted with this. It is a pretty rough model. You can change the gender and change the age. You can change the muscle mass, the weight, the ethnicity. You can change pretty much everything. And then what you're gonna do is simply change its facial structure. Get many options. It's really great to experiment with what you like and what you don't like. You can do some funky designs. You can do some pretty interesting shapes. And there's a whole lot more settings that you can go over. You know, for the head size, forehead, in the brows, the neck. You can pass hours on this and you'll have your custom character. Once you have a face that you like, what you can do is simply go. Simply go customize the other parts of the body, like the torso, the arms and the legs. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply go to geometry. And for clothes, what you're gonna have to do is pick uh, this set of clothes or the other one. Just make sure to enable the first set of clothes just by re-clicking on the alt clothes and pick some shoes. And don't worry about this ugly design. You can change it in Blender. So there's nothing to worry about right now. And also make sure to uncheck that box so you can have access to the full body even if it has clothes on it. So now what you're gonna have to do is simply Customize the eyes, eye poly, where the teeth, make sure you have some. For the topology, put a nail generic. For the eyebrows, just pick something that you, you think that will fit your character. For the eyelashes, just pick, pick something, honestly. You get tongue also. Now go to the materials, and this is where you'll be able to create the skin of your character. So now once you're happy with your face and your creation, just click on that, name your model, make sure to select FBX. Select the path that you want your character to actually be. Now just click on export. Now you can close that and just open Blender. Now you can delete everything. Click on A, click on X. And I'm, now I'm just gonna ask to go to File, Import, and click on FBX. Now just search for your file right there. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply click on S to scale it down. Control A, apply scale. Now if you wanna see the textures, just click on that. And as you can see, the textures are not quite doing well. So what you can do is really just click on the object, go to the texture tab, pull down, and on the settings tab, you run a see blend mode and switch off a blend to opaque. And just do this for the old model. Okay. Eyes are a little bit special. So instead of opaque, just put it in for eyes. And for the rest, it's supposed to be good. And as you can see, there's some clipping going on and we do not want that. So what you can do is simply click on the part that is clipping, click on tab, now what you're gonna have to do is simply select button A and just alt S everything to scale it up. As you can see, it's kind of fixed, but not that much fixed. So just polish it a little bit more like this. Okay, this is good. Now just do the same for the pants and the shirt. Okay, just polish it a little bit. Now it's just, it's not a big deal right there. Now what we're going to do is simply just add some hair to the character. So what you can do is simply select the head, click on tab to go into edit mode. Now just click on that, on that button right there. Once you have done that, click on this, on this button right there. Now click on C to select the faces that you want to select in a, in a faster way. Just make sure to give him a good hairline just so he doesn't look too weird. Now once that you have your scalp selected, you can uncheck this button right there and just click on, now click on shift D to duplicate the scalp and click on P to separate it from the other parts of the body. So we can see you got your scalp. Now what's, you can re rename it. Once you have your scalp, what you can do is simply add some hair. Just click on the hair system. We'll go to the particle tab, click on the plus, go ahead on hair and just play around with it like this. I'm gonna make some dreads and I'm gonna show you guys how to make some dreads right now. So first of all, what you're gonna have to do is simply go and select B spline and just crank it up to six or seven. Once you did that, just go to the view part and clean that up also. Now go to children, go ahead and interpolate it. Now go to parting, put it all up, clumping, use a clump curve. And now what you're gonna have to do is pick this second dot right there and just slide it down and go, go to the middle and make it curve like this. You know what I'm saying? Now go to the roughness, take a good amount of roughness. Really just experiment with the settings that you like. For the kink, I think I'll just put the little curl pattern. Oh, this is too much. Something light like this. Okay. Go ahead to the children tab and let's put the display amounts up like so. And now to have them tight in the kink tab, you're going to have to put the flatness up. And as you can see, it's really starting to look like dreads. Now let's 
if there's too much stress for you, what you can do is just put the number down like this. And obviously you don't want your dress to stick up in the hair like this. So what you're gonna have to do is simply click in the hair dynamics and just, as you can see, it's doing a little sum. As you can see, the hair is way too stiff for dreadlocks. So just put the stiffness down a little bit and just animation. And now we got real, you can see it's clipping through its head. So it's not good. Just go ahead and click on the head, go on physics and pick collision. I'll just replay the animation one. Now you got a real thing, right? This eye is looking and it's looking pretty nice. But, but for now, we're not going to really worry about the animation. So you can select the scalp, it's particle and just enable hair dynamics because we're going to focus on the clothes now. We do not want that design right there. You obviously want your own design, but first what you're going to have to do is simply separate the pants and the shirt. As you can see, they are linked together. I don't know why they did this, but it's just the way it is. So click on them, click on tab. And what you're going to have to do is select this button right there and just say it depends on its own. Select all the faces that you can. Now it can be really uh, annoying to do this, but uh, you got to do what you have to do. And don't try to rush the process because it will look real ugly and you don't want to rush the process when you're all doing 3D. So either you do it slowly, it's good, or you do it fast way and it looks trash. So you got to pick a side. Now just make sure that you take as much as you can because it's obviously really, really hard because you can't really see everything. Just make sure that you didn't pick any part of your shirt. And what you're going to have to do now is click on Click on P, selection, and as you can see, the pants is separated from the shirt, and that's what we wanted. Now we can finally change the design of the shirt. So what you're gonna have to do is simply select your shirt, go to UV map, and just click on A. So now as you can see, you got that your little UV map right there, and those, and the goal is to actually switch those textures to the texture that you want. So what you're gonna have to do is simply click on image, save as, now you're gonna have to save this picture somewhere that in your computer and actually import it inside of Photoshop to edit it. You can edit your own logo right there. And once you're finished with your editing and you, and you like your designs, once you did that, you go to the shading tab right there. And as you can see, there's the image of, your, of the texture that you actually don't want. So what you can do with this is simply click on the folder right there and select for your for your customized shirt. And as you can see, you got your own customized shirt. Oh, you're happy. Okay, I did it really quickly. It's nothing professional to explain, but at least it's there. And you can actually do the same for the pants. So just simply just edit uh, another picture. Simply edit this picture right there, throw it inside of Photoshop and make your own pants. Just do the same process. So yeah, now you got your custom character. It has dreadlocks, custom shirt. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Basically, you can make your own music videos. You can pretty much, you can do your animations. You can do your edits. You can do everything actually. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Comment down below what other tutorials you want me, you guys want me to do. And follow my Instagram and see you in another video.